Hi there. This is David B. Sixty Nine, and um, I am presenting Giants at Phillies. Um, now, at the end of the last video, I wasn't doing a audio broadcast. Um, and please let me know if you'd like me to have my audio and me speaking, or do you prefer just get down straight to the game? Um, leave that in the comments below. And uh, so I can know um, whether to do more speaking or less speaking, or am I doing just enough by going in between, going every once in a while. Um, let me know. I know the birds can get noisy in the background from time to time. Um, the thing, one thing I wanted to show, actually it would be in my emails, is about the uh, trade, the Blue Jays uh, rejected the trade that we tried to get. Um, so that was a failure, but we still do have the other two proposals. Um, this was this is the ridiculous one that I think have no has no shot at completing. Um, it's like Bird and Lee for Mike Trout. Um, Mike Trout's not like knocking the ball off the cover or anything this year. Only hitting two forty nine. I mean, but he's a ninety nine overall. I, I just it's, it'd be insane if they accepted it. Um, the trade for Boston, no, oh, that's a possibility, um, but again, who knows. So, let's get down to today's game, which would be Lincecum against Lorzano. It would be the first game Lincecum would be facing his old club. Uh, I think most, I think I can have this whole starting lineup with today. I'm going to have to probably change some of this stuff with the lineups though because Gwyn is not hitting well up top. The Giants are not playing well this season and um, it'll be a show. Should be. I could make up some games here if uh, the teams on top of me start losing some. Also, uh, Chase has leaves one hit away from getting his 15th hundred hit. If you get to hit today, you can have number 1,500. They showed the milestone that he was only two hits away, yes, in the last today's game. And we got one hit. With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Tonight, we begin the homestand with the first of four between the San Francisco Giants and the Phillies. You see there, we only have 64 games remaining on the schedule, too. Hi again, folks. Welcome back to Phillies baseball here on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and the newest member of our team, Steve Lyons, as we delve into our pitching matchup here in the opener. Well, here's a couple of guys that are going to have their work cut out for them right here. I mean, this is one of the better hitters' parks in all of baseball. The ball really flies out of here when the conditions are right, so it's never an easy assignment to be handed the ball in this place. All right, Steve, thanks. We'll hear from EK momentarily, but first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting San Francisco Giants. As manager Bruce Bochy sets his guys up like this. They'll match up against the guy they call the freak, two-time National League Cy Young Award winner, the right-hander Tim Lincecum. Angel Pagan makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. And a call 
called strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Lincecum ready, the 0-1. Right back up the middle here, and this is past the mound and into center field as the leadoff man reaches to start the night. So the leadoff man is aboard to start the series. And with that, let's take a look at how the fills will set up on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Not close. It's 2-0. Oh. Yeah, and you got to be careful that you don't speed up your delivery too much with a base deal on first, or you might That's end up crap. blocking this guy, too. And this is past him at third. Down the line. It's a fair ball. And the runner holds at second, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Yeah, it looks like these guys mean business. Back-to-back -back singles here to start the ball game. They want to put as much pressure on this guy as they can early on. Buster Posey will stand in, currently eighth in the National League in hitting to enter play. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Swing and a hard liner to short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. And if this ball's hit maybe just a little bit harder, he might have a shot at doubling a man off. But since it's hit so softly, he's only going to wind up getting one out. Pablo Sandoval will stand in, and he was among the many who failed to record a base hit in the loss yesterday. And this is low, ball one. 99, Cabrera home runs. And good patience here from Sandoval. It's 2-0 and now. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Number 19 is there and he has it for the out. And you know, he's kind of going through a stretch right now where the ball just isn't jumping off his back. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. Hunter Pence will stand in and he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. And you get the sense that he's starting to figure things out. He lets the first two men of the inning reach. Now he's settled down, and he's close to getting out of this thing with a zero. And this is fouled back and out of play. Two down, runners at first and second. Way outside. One and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And he'll reach no, 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 no. to play on him. And the throw is too strong as it's over the head of Howard. <sighs> Brandon Belt will stand in now. 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Oh. And with two outs, you want to make sure those guys earn that run. Don't let them score on a wild pitch. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Oh crap. Right center field. Nobody's going to catch up with this one. It's going to get down for extra bases. Scudero scores. Throw won't get him. 
And he will score as well. It's a three-run double, and they've broken our tie to lead by three. Well, he had backed himself into a corner here early on, but the base was loaded. He was forced to come in with something, and this is going to unload the bases as all three guys come in to score, and it's very quickly 3-0 here in the first. Michael Morse is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Well, for Belt, a good job there to pick up his 16th double of the year. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, now there's a location you want right there. If that ball gets hit, you're just going to bang it into the ground all night long. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1-2. and two. And now here, 1-2, and two, this is where you need your best. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Giants three, and the Phillies coming up. You're watching me. Jimmy Rollins will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And he doesn't get much on the swing here as this is pulled down the first baseline. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Swing and a softly hit ground ball. No problem here. One away. And that's what the two-seam fastball will do for you. Running away, not just for strikeouts. Here he gets him to hit it on the ground for an easy out. Carlos Ruiz will come forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. One out, nobody on. The next pitch. Oh, he couldn't lay off there as he offers it a pitch in the dirt, and the count comes even now at one and one. And that's right where you want to be with your specialty pitches. If you can start them knee high and let them dip out of the strike zone, you'll have a lot of success with locations like that one. And that'll get down in front of Pagan for a base hit. Oh, and that's a good sign right there. They're really hoping to get him going out of that two spot. And he comes through big time right here with a first inning single. Chase Utley will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Brown ball to second. This could be two. And he is in there. This is a bad error right here. He tries to square himself up to second base to get this double play started, but I don't know if his cleats got stuck or what, but this is not a very good throw, and he's going to get stuck with an E4. Ryan Howard will stand in here with a chance to pad his RBI total, and as you can see, he currently sits third in the National League in that category. Swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Runners are at first and second with one away. Runners staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. Oh, he breaks out the hook here. Good for strike two. Now out at second base, you'd like nothing more than to get another ground ball. Maybe get a double play to help out your pitcher. And this is swung on and missed by Howard as he's prone to do occasionally set down on strikes for the second out. Well, you know, you really hate to see this first inning opportunity slip away, especially with two guys on and your cleanup hitter up there. But now it's going to take a two out hit from your number five guy to put a crooked number on the board. Marlon Bird will stand in. 
A big power threat here to say the least. Currently third in home runs in the National League. Close to the bag. It's second there. Now the pitch. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. And there is the full list of home run leaders we alluded to a moment ago. swung on and lifted into shallow center field and he can't track it down a base hit and they are on the board as the run scores from second to narrow the gap to three one now that two out hit there makes that air loom extra large now you've got to make sure you get this next guy before this inning gets any further out of control Dominic Brown will stand in and he's having a great season so far currently fifth in the National League in home runs First pitch coming. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And this is going to be a foul ball. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over Phillies will have to be content with just the one we'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia the Giants lead it three to one Brandon Crawford leads things off now in the top half of the second Good fastball there from Lincecum as he's really popping the glove now. It's strike one. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Felipe Lozano will get his first opportunity now. Swung, swung. Started to go around there. Appeal down to first. Yes, sir, says the first base umpire. Strike one. Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. Oh Boy, that's just pretty standard operating procedure right here. You get him leaning out over the plate on that slider running away, and then you bust him inside hard on that fastball on the inside corner. On to first, and it's a good start to the inning for Lincecum. Two up, two down. Angel Pagan will stand in. He singled to lead off the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. And Lincecum will start him with a good changeup for strike one. Yeah, he wasn't showing bunt there, but even with two outs, you can't let your guard down defensively. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. So a very good inning there for Tim Lincecum. He's still down, though, by a count of 3-1. to one. Number 19 will stand in now. Two hits in five trips for him in yesterday's ball game. And this will be fouled away. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Hit 
Catches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. And the throw on by Scudero's in time for route number one. Cody Ashy will stand in and you see what he's done over the past seven games. Boy, arctically cold. Now the first pitch. And now a rocket into right field. Really squared that one up perfectly. It's a base hit. Now you can see him just basically jumping at that first pitch. He pulls it into right field for a solid base hit. Tim Lincecum will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. I'll give you a hand, we're bunting. And this one's in the dirt. Pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Yeah, this early in the game, to me, this is the right decision. You give that guy at the top of your lineup a chance to drive in a run with a simple base hit. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. like to pitch up here in the show. I, I mean, big league hitters, they spoil the good pitches and they crush the bad ones. He got every bit of this one. Carlos Ruiz will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Now a little dribbler up the line to first. there as this is rolled fouled off to the left. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout for a two to three, and the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Marco Scudero started out here for San Francisco with Buster Posey to follow on deck. First pitch in there at the knees as he offers a strike to the leadoff man, nothing in one. And the fastball here is hit hard right back up the middle and he's got a leadoff single. Since I do talk a lot of sports games, congratulations to Germany to it's winning the World Cup. In here, and he's already given up more hits so far than he did in his entire start last time out. 
He hasn't been able to reproduce what he had going on last time, at least not to this point. Buster Posey will stand in, a line-out victim his first time. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. That's not really a bad take that time. You've got a guy out there on the mound that's had his hands full already, so you've got to make him prove that he can find the zone. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Wow, he just never got into the rhythm of that at-bat at all. I mean, normally you'd expect a middle-of-the-order guy to put up a little more fight than that, wouldn't you? But he just got caught flat-footed on all three of those pitches. So one gone here in the San Francisco third. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo Sandoval. Runners going. Pitch swung out and missed the throw. It's right there. Here we go. Out trying to add second on a great throw by Ruiz. Well, that was kind of surprising to see him stealing anyway. It didn't really look like he had a great lead at all, and they throw him out by a country mile. Taken. Now it's 0-2. Oh, and I like how they doubled up on the changeup right there. That's a good pitch. Yeah, it's natural to think that the pattern's going to be slow, then fast. So, you're right. That's a nice call. Another 0-2 home. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. There to get it is up late. Oh, and Come on! Right over his head at first. You can't make a simple throw today. Things up so there'll be no advance, but that was not at all good. Hunter Pence will get a shot here in the inning after all, as that two-out error could really turn out to have some major consequences. Yeah, anytime you give this guy an at-bat, especially with a runner on base that he otherwise wouldn't have had, you're asking for trouble. Good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One left for San Francisco. Through two and a half, it's three apiece. Back alongside Eric Carroll and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, and Chase Utley getting set to start things out here in the Phillies half of the inning. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. straight back lined into left center and now he has some trouble with it in left he's around first on his way to second now and Utley still going he's heading for third the relay and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple well this is all about risk reward here. It's spectacular if you get a glove on it. If not, you got to get up off the deck and chase it down. And that will be hit number 1500 for Chase Utley. See if they do anything to recognize it. Ryan Howard will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. No, no recognition. Chopping at that one, it's nothing in one. Yeah, and you gotta be careful that you don't go up there helping them out, especially if you get that feeling that they're trying to work around you. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line. And this is past belt on down the line, a fair ball. And that'll bring in the go-ahead run from third. It's now a four to three game. And he is out trying for two bases, but credit him with a single and an RBI oh, here. Yeah. Thought he'd been able to have that. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Over now is Pence to make the grab. Two away now. 
Well, he gets you out there, but he's not missing many bats right now. The guys are really putting together some good swings against him so far. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. One thing you can say with certainty, he's really tried to take some ownage on that inside part of the plate. It's something that you need to learn as a young pitcher. You've got to have that willingness to work inside, or guys at this level will just lean out over the plate and eat you up. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here comes the one-two. Swing and a hard-hit ball towards the hole. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Phillies get a couple of hits here, and it leads to one on the scoreboard. Brandon Belt will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. And this is grounded foul off to the right past one-time big league outfielder Roberto Kelly in the first base coaching box. Swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. And here's that sequence once again right here on Showtime. Now, normally, this is a guy that you might want to nibble with, but he was all business here in this at-bat. Each one of these pitches finds the strike zone, and they're able to set him down quickly to lead off the inning. Michael Morse will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. And I think now you're starting to get the sense that he's put that first inning behind him, and he looks a lot more comfortable out there now. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Swing and a miss as he starts the frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. Three in a row going back to the last inning, and there are two away. So two away for the Giants here in the fourth. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Phillies four and the Giants three. Number 19 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. Lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and wow. two. Well, he's been in a tough stretch offensively, and this sure ain't going to help. Come on. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. And he's safe at first, so he's aboard on the drop third strike. So not the start to the inning he was looking for as he got the strikeout, but the runner reaches anyway. Cody Ashey will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. There goes the runner. Oh, I should not have swung. He popped him up. And no ordinary pop-up at that. This is way up there. And Sandoval will put this one away for route number one. Yet yeah, not always an easy play heading toward the stands out there in left field. So he's got a few different things to worry about over there. But he stays with it to make it look routine. And there he goes towards second. And this ball's pulled on the ground down the line to first. 
And he'll take this over to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Yeah, and here with the runner who's on the move, you've got no chance of even thinking about getting the double play. So a smart idea there just to take the sure out at first. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Runner breaks for third. On the ground, softly towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. Then it remains a 4-3 game. Felipe Lozano will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And this is foul tipped at the plate directly off the arm of the home plate umpire. And folks, there's no padding up there. That's going to hurt. Oh, look out now. Guys don't like it when you miss up and in like that. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Angel Pagan will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Marco Scudero will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here. Nothing in tune. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Giants down in order. Score holds at 4-3. Carlos Ruiz will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both a left-hander and a right-hander get loose. And the fastball here is hit on the ground but foul. Foul back. almost got away from him two and two now oh, that's what you call getting in tight with the fastball and he struck him out second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes well apparently he just got his gas tank refilled during the last half inning because I'll tell you he's come out looking as sharp as he has the whole ball game Chase Utley will step in. One for two in the ball game. And this is fouled straight back. Ah, not able to hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Boy, that curveball is really moving now. He gets him to swing right over the top of it, and then you're going to see the nice work behind the plate to do a little cleanup back there and then get the put out down at first. Ryan Howard is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And with two outs here and nobody on, if he gets a fastball like that one, he won't be afraid about airing one out here. This is a swing for the fences type situation. 
Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. Dives and he makes the catch. How about that for an exclamation point to the end of the inning? Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Buster Posey will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zeros since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. And after a hot start, the bats have pretty much gone missing here in the middle innings. He sort of reinvented himself out there and has really turned things around. Pablo Sandoval will stand in. He reached on an error last time through. Change up called strike one. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Lincecum readies another 0-2. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. And quickly two are gone now here in the visitors half of the sixth. Well I thought at first that this was going to be a tougher play than it wound up being. You can see him turn and run straight back towards the wall here in center field. But he gets back there in plenty of time to make the play. Hunter Pence will stand in now with two away trying to avoid another one two three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And a sharp slider that time by Lincecum at strike one. And a little tapper up the line, but this will wind up a foul ball. Fouled straight back. Good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Hit hard, but this will be a foul ball. And Lincecum about to make his 74th pitch of the evening. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Giants are down 1-2-3. They still trail it here 4-3. Marlon Byrd will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Right fielder, Marlon Byrd. And this ball will be chopped foul. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Morse has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for out number one. And here in these middle innings, they just haven't been able to get anything going against him out there. That's seven in a row now. He's set down here in the fourth, fifth, and sixth. One gun in the inning now for the left fielder, Dominic Brown. Grounded fouled off to the right side. Four runs, six hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And a check swing here. They'll point down to the third base umpire, but no swing on that one. It's ball one. Out in front of it as this is pulled down the line to first. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. And for a first baseman, if the most direct route is to just tag the guy, that's what you do. You know, there's no sense in trying to throw it to your pitcher or your second baseman covering, especially if you don't have to. 
number 19 will dig in 0 for 2 thus far that's on the ground to short this should end the inning and indeed it will he throws him out at first and the side is retired three up three down for Philadelphia but they hold on to a 4-3 lead Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Yeah, same pitch, same result, and he's laid on it again. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1-2. and two. On 0-2, and if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase but it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Throw will not be in time. So My time with Utley Strohs has been horrible, and I can't... Every time he gives a ground ball, it's like it's, it's like going to be an error of us. I don't know what's going on with that. It swung out and missed the throw. It's right there, and he is out trying to nab second on a great Thanks for trying to do that. Well, that's kind of what makes the hit-and-run play such a gamble. You can see right here on show track, this ball's not even in the strike zone. So once the guy at the plate can't make contact, that runner is hung out to dry. Three runs, four hits, and one error in the ball game for San Francisco. And he's able to go with a fastball nicely there as this is sliced into right for a base hit. Yeah, and about the only drawback you have to having so many strikeouts is that it really runs that pitch count up. You can see on the graphic right here that that total's starting to get up there now, so he may be getting just a little bit tired. Yeah, this is Lynn Sugum's last inning with me for today. Brandon Crawford comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Right. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and we're still hearing the catcher's men snapping all the way up here. Now Lincecum's 1-2. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? Utley for one. Back to Howard, but it's not in time to get them both. Colby Newcomb will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 21. Well, look at Crawford. Now the pitch starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Another 0-2 coming. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Giants leave one. Still down a run, it's 4-3. Javier Lopez will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Cody Ashey will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. The start, I'll start the inning and I'll have a cricket do the rest. And a good swing there as this one's carrying well out to deep right field. Pence is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out.
And what I do is I don't, um, I use the shortcut keys. They're the control panel, the, um, the arrows and stuff and everything that you would normally just barely ever use and stuff on the left side and everything. They, uh, they give you shortcuts. Um, I'm going to put Mayberry in for pinch hitting. John Mayberry is into the on-deck circle now, so that's going to be all for Tim Lincecum. Number 16, Sean. And now the left hand yeah, yeah, is up see it does that. in the Giants bullpen. <laughs> now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. <laughs> Got in his kitchen big time right there. Oh, he took a big swing that time as he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. How about this out of the bullpen? Three pitches, two outs. Can't do a whole lot better than that. Jimmy Rollins will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Swung on and fouled straight back. A ball hit softly on a line to third. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Phillies down in order, but they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Summoned from the bullpen now, she'll take over to start inning number eight. Not having a great year. Angel Pagan will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Back to the changeup, but this one finds the target for strike one. Now a ball lined to the right side. And that'll be a base hit. So very quickly here, the potential tying run is aboard to start the eighth. And they had to have that. This is the inning where a leadoff guy is critical. Now they've got a few options here with a speedy guy on first to start things out. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And standing in the fine second baseman, Marco Scudero. Al Albuquerque is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. Pagan holding, and now here's the pitch. And this is taken. Ooh, I got one there. Strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. And you can see him shaking his head out there. I think he felt that one was a little bit low. And you know what? He may have had a case. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Our line score to this point tells the story. You see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Buster Posey will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. 
right there at the belt. One and two now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. And this is fouled back and out of play. And he's struck him out. Oh, yeah. And there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. Huh. That strike zone has opened up a little bit here in the late going. That's a tough pill to swallow in a spot like this, but nothing you can do about it now. Pablo Sandoval will stand in now, hoping to get on track, as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Aaron Loop will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. pitch fastball ball oh off come on ball one call it a put down low for me and you don't give me that that corner there he goes pitch is a cold strike the throw way late and he's in there easily at second and i think everybody in the ballpark knew that he was going to be running with two away but even when you know what's coming he's still hard to get a handle on and he's in the scoring position now with that stolen base. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. No! No, 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 no. First is they can't make the play on it. Well, just don't even throw it if you're going to throw an error. Gregor Blanco will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Hunter Pence will step I in down perfectly. Spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance of redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Brad Lincoln will enter the ball game out of the pen as he'll look to get the final out here in the top of inning number eight. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And around the bag now, third base coach Tim Flannery's waving him in. And oh, man. Well. And the tide has officially changed now as they've taken a one-run lead. That's a definition of a game-changing at bat right there. Late in the game, he just wants to hit the ball hard somewhere. I think this will qualify it. That's going to drive home two and turn that one run deficit into a one run lead. Brandon Belt stands in as he looks at ball one here and he takes a cold strike one. Starting to look like not only are they not going to walk him, but they're indeed going to challenge him. And we've seen that mentality backfire many a time before, but you got to give him a little bit of credit on the mound. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So two runs on two base hits, one error, and one man left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Giants five and the Philly. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set to take over on the mound, and it's the veteran left-hander Jeremy Affel. Carlos Ruiz will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. This is unbelievable. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. I hit this game in hand. I had a 4-3 lead. It was... And he'll come back with one in the 
dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straight away. Yes. And that high game. is gone. Home run. A solo shot for Carlos Ruiz. Number 13 for him on the year as we are all tied at five. tell he was making a concerted effort to keep the ball down against this guy but you just can't keep it down forever and he finally got a pitch he could handle George Contos is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth so he's quite don't understand they put a right hander in to face a left handed hitter Uh, in there. Chase Utley will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. Here's the first offering. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Swing by Utley as he launches this one out to deep right field. And that will find the seats. A home run. Back to back homers. Solo shot that time from Chase Utley. Number 23 for him thus far. And this one gives him the lead at 6 to 5. Just the second pitch that's coming on it. I guarantee it. He was not looking to put it there. This is right in the wheelhouse, and he just didn't miss that one. Gene Machi is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Ryan Howard will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're going to see that again before this at-bat's over. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Oh, he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. And, and that's not... That is not good. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. The ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. Anticipated. Here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. And I kind of think even in a normal defensive alignment, he probably makes this play. But here you can see him playing close to the line because he's got backup in the form of his second baseman. And it winds up a fairly routine ground out to first. Marlon Bird. We'll get another crack, one for three thus far. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box, a foul ball. After this game, we'll check out the, uh, how the, if there's anything changing with the trades and stuff. Mm. 
getting chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. And on 0-2, I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. Look out, and that'll give him a close shake. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. The one thing we can say about this game, neither team's been afraid to swing the bat. I mean, here we are this late into the ball game, and we still haven't seen our first walk. Dominic Brown will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. First offering on the way. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. Um, <laughs> so two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We played eight full. Phillies on top, six to five. Okay. Michael Morse will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Mike Adams is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Grounded foul. Takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd at foul ball. Here's another 0-2. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground back up the box. Throw will not be in time, so good also oh. there is now the possible tying run is aboard to lead things off here. Brandon Crawford will dig in now with the runner on base. And you know, Eric, after the error, he's got to be careful out there on the mound. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to let errors go as it is, but when it's your error, way tougher. You feel like you need to make amends on your own, and that can get you into even bigger trouble. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first, and they turn the double play. Hector Sanchez will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And it's worth pointing out that they're burning through that bullpen here in game one of this series. That could have an effect on the rest of this week. And he'll make the final one and end of this one. And the Phillies have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Well, you know, some late game heroics in the bottom of the eighth were what proved to be the difference as they rallied back to win in front of a very enthusiastic home crowd. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. 
And the Phillies offensively here tonight were led by the exploits of this man, Jimmy Rollins. Strike a pose. He's our tops player of the game. Let's see how we do with the trades. Let's see if any of it, uh, anything actually came on anything. We'll do a sim through today. We do have messages. Red Sox have declined. And apparently it was a big trade. Canales, Cispello, Hinson in exchange for Hill. I don't really see that one as that big of a trade, but okay. But basically letting me know that same trade over here. Big trade is the one that's still on the board. I, it, that's, it amazes me that the the bird one was declined from this one, but this one's still still in the uh, it's unbelievable. Team was that I was really looking for a first baseman. Wow, the Yankees are desperate for a first baseman. Wow, that's actually kind of surprising. Somebody else that was really, well, they're pretty desperate too, but not, not as desperate as that. Yeah, it was the Angels that were really desperate. Freezing Kendrick. Stardo. I hate to give up one rough, but it's if I can get thing in. I 
would trade Chase Utley after this deal would be over. What else would I have to give up? part of the same tr trade kind of thing. So Ruff, Bastardo, and Bird for Freeze and Kendrick. I don't know. And crazier things that happen. Anyways, this is Dave B69 and I'm out.